welcome back to my channel or if you're new here my name is Janine Agolia and I'm a full-time reseller on the Poshmark platform. Today I have a haul for you all. I went to my local Goodwill and I went to Salvation Army and I picked up a few things. A total of 19 items. Each item is averaging out to $5.50. So let's get started. Um, and if you have been watching these videos and you like them, please remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the like button for me. That really helps me out. It helps my channel grow. And soon, well, hopefully soon, within the 2021 year, I will become monetized, but I will need your help. So please hit those buttons for me. Okay, let's get started. So um, I found this cute dress at Goodwill. Um, it's not like a, a bolo brand, it's not like a big name brand or anything, but I thought the style was so pretty. And it's by um, Chelsea and Theodore. Let's see. In a size small. And it's this really cute boho dress with these little flowers on them. And it's like you can wear it as a cold shoulder, you can put it up or you can put it down. And it's super long. Maybe I'll like post a picture of the dress full length because it's really long. It is a maxi dress. I will post a picture of it here. Okay, so that was one. I found this really cool leather purse. I think it's like Mexican, Mexican leather purse. But look at this. It's got like this Mayan, the Mayan calendar on there. I thought that was so cool. So I picked that one up too. It's really nice. It's a good size and nice condition and it is real leather. I thought that was really unique. Um, what else? Oh, I found this free people dress and at first I thought it was poof, but I looked again and it was actually a free people dress in a, they say a size 12, but I think it's kind of small for a size 12. Um, and it's black it's got this like high waist and then it's kind of like midi length or knee length here I'll see if I can find a comp a picture of it for you guys like a really good picture of it and I will post that here if not I'll just post my own picture right here okay then I found a lucky brand cardigan nice and chunky in this really pretty neutral palette and it is um let's see i think this is acrylic in a size medium it's acrylic oh it actually does have some wool in it score okay so it's acrylic wool and cotton so it's nice and warm and it's just perfect for like lounging and hanging out and I thought that the print was really pretty. It's kind of got like a Nordic print, Fair Isle print go. So I thought that was nice. Uh, let's see, I picked up a pair of Prana shorts because I am picking up a lot of, um, I'm looking towards spring and summer now, um, but that doesn't mean I won't pick up um, winter items. I will pick up anything if I, it looks good enough. I don't really care too much about that kind of thing. But of course, I'm always gonna prioritize looking for summer and spring items at this time of year. So these are um, the Prana shorts. Great for working out in, great for hanging out in the summer. Um, let's see, size small. And it's got this little zip pocket so you don't lose your stuff. I'd say these are great for taking to the beach. Okay. And how are you all liking my new camera? Did you notice the quality difference? I hope so. I'm still getting used to it. Um, there's gonna be some adjustment period going through with this camera, but I love it. It's the um, Canon Mark II G7X, and it's awesome. It's really cool. And I got it on sale um, on eBay for like $350, which is insanely good. So yeah, so let me know if you like the camera quality. Okay, so now I have a pair of white jeans High, high rise white jeans, new with tags, which the tag just fell, fell off because I was picking at it. Um, size 30. And these are your just your standard skinny white jean. And it is a high rise. 
and a little bit of stretch in there. And brand new, H&M. No stains, I checked it five times. Literally, I checked it five times. <laughs> okay, I picked up this soft surroundings dress. Now I don't, it, soft surroundings for me is like, mm, I've, 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 I've been hit or miss with soft surroundings, but um, I did look up comps on this, or at least the gypsy boho style in soft surroundings. Um, this is a size small gypsy boho maxi tie-dye dress. Very soft, very comfortable, and super long and beautiful. I will post a picture of this dress right here, but yeah. I thought it was so cool and so soft and so perfect for the season that's coming that I said, okay, I'm taking a chance on this one. Sometimes you just have to take a chance, especially if you really like love this style, which I do. I found this um, 346 Brooks Brothers stretch dress in a size six and it's really pretty, this pink. This is good for a lot of different occasions um, in the spring, I would say. For you can take, you can wear this to, to a wedding, you can wear this to church, you can wear this, you know, for work purposes. It's very versatile and it's in great condition. It's like new. I, I don't know if it was even worn. Um, I could probably even put new without tags. I don't think it was worn at all. But it's um, midi length or just below the knee. And I forget what you call this. It's not a sheath style. There's a word for this style. It's like very slightly fitted. Um, let me know in the comments below so that we don't have to look it up. I love it when you guys help me out with styles and things. Or if you have any knowledge on any of the stuff I'm picking up, please put it down below. It helps me so much, so much. So next we have a um, Bowden dress in a US size 6. It is a knit dress, so I may have to wait until next year to see it sell. Maybe not. I did check comps and the comps look pretty good. I might be able to get $45 for this. I am going to try for $45 and because of the style. This, this specific kind of cut in Bowdoin does well, so we will see how that does. Sweater dress by Bowdoin in a size small in a cream color. You can see it's really pretty. Two different kinds of knits there. Okay. Next we have a pair of earth shoes um, and these are just your basic leather um, mule in really good condition and these are a size 8. Very comfy, practical, very well made. Um, I picked up a pair of Born clogs or mules in black. And they were in also good condition. I, I did have to clean up some, but it wasn't too bad. I really don't pick up stuff I have to do too much work on anymore. Yeah. Um, so these are a size 8. I thought they were cute. I picked up a pair of tall black gas leather boots and it's a heeled boot and these are like new. I don't think anyone who had these wore them very much, maybe once or twice. Um, so I picked these up at Goodwill. thought these were really cute. And these, what size are you? Hmm. Size eight. I guess it was a two days of, well, I went shopping two days. So that's a lot of size eights and that usually happens. You go in and you start finding like you got one dress and then it ends up being like five dresses and nothing else or like all the shoes and nothing else or no shoes and everything else. So today was a kind of like shoe and boot day in a size 8. <laughs> so next we have a David's Bridal dress in a size 10 and it's a cocktail little black dress which I thought was really cute. And this one, I 
do need to wash all of this stuff. I wash everything that I buy unless it has its new tags and I can't, um, in which case I will just um, Lysol it. Uh, but usually I wash everything. Right. Strapless Black Dress by David's Bridal. Very, very nice. Okay, next we have a Cynthia Rowley. It's like a romper, but it's strapless. Perfect for the summer and a size medium. And I really like it because it's got like this Indian vibe thing going on, which I love. The boho, obviously the boho vibe. And it's just like a little, you could put this over your swimsuit dress. I can't even call it a romper because it's not shorts. It's just like a, like a little dress. And it cinches at the side. I thought that was cute, so I picked it up. It was half price, so I couldn't say no to that. All right, these shoes I didn't look up comps for, but I knew that these are gonna do well. I hope they're gonna do well. Um, the brand is Andre. They are made in Brazil. They have a leather upper, and uh, look at the style on these. These are gorgeous. They're like reminiscent of a, of a good old-fashioned Prada shoe. You know, old Prada? Yeah. Or a Joan and David, old-fashioned Joan and David. But I kind of like the, the vibe. A little masculine, but also flapper style. Very sharp. In great condition. And that's really buttery leather. Like butter. Okay, next we have born shoes, born booties in brown. And you just slide these on. You just, they have like elastic so you don't have to fuss with them or anything. You just slip them right on in great condition. Size seven and a half. We'll see if I can get maybe 45 for these. We'll try. We'll try for 45. Next, we have a dress by Prana New with tags, size small, drop waisted Prana dress. These tags are the way so you can see the style. I thought that is so pretty in these like really pretty rust colors. Three quarter sleeve, drop waisted, smocked on the drop waist. And it'll be like a knee length once you put it on. So cute. Right? I thought, that's cute. Pick it up. Okay. That side. Yeah, size small. Next we have a pair of riding boots. And these are leather. Again, I always try and pick up leather real leather when I find it. Uh, I did add, I did, I do like fix zippers and stuff sometimes. Um, if you ever have a zipper that you are struggling with um, and you're not going to hurt the fabric of the thing, um, you can hit it with some silicone spray. It helps a lot so that way you can easily slide open those zippers. Um, and these are by Enzo Angiolini. Enzo Angiolini. And they are a size eight and a half, and they are a beautiful leather riding boot in very nice condition. I know Enzo Angelini doesn't really get much. I mean, it's not like a woohoo, it's like not one of those, it's like a bread and butter brand. But I thought these were so beautiful, and the comps on them looked pretty okay, so I picked them up. People always need a, a riding boot. It's like every year the riding boot comes back, that style. Okay, and one more thing. This is the odd man out, and it's not going on Poshmark, it's going on my eBay. eBay is good for certain things. I don't list everything on eBay because I enjoy working off of the Poshmark platform more, and there are just certain items that are for eBay, like this. This is a 1973 family Bible. Yeah, got it half off. Comps on this were great. And it's never been used, but it's vintage. So it's vintage, but new. And it's the red letter edition Bible, and it's in beautiful condition. Like, look at the, the gold leaf on the side. 
and it's got gorgeous images. None of it has been written into. It's like perfect. It's got a section where you can you can put your whole family in there, and then that way you pass it um, through the generations. Um, and like just some beautiful, beautiful images. Yeah, and I think it's all of the words that Jesus spoke are in red. I think that's how it works. <laughs> But it's also got a dictionary and concordance. I mean, this thing is really cool. So yeah, I didn't say no to that. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure I said it was 1973. Yeah. It's got a whole bunch of other little things in it too. So we'll see how much I can get for it. I'm gonna list it for $50 and see if it sells. Um, because there was a lot of them that were used that were selling for like 40 bucks. So we'll see. Anyway, that is it. That is all I have for you today. Oh, wait, before I forget, I have a question for you guys. Okay, in that little lemon haul that I did, um, you'll see that video, like three videos back. I had a piece of, like a piece of clothing in there that was not Lululemon, that looks like Lululemon, but I can't for the life of me figure out which one it is. Like, I don't know this brand. And the logo on it looks like a cloud. Let me see if I can get you. Hold on. Can you see it? Oh, focus. Focus. See it? What brand is it? Do you know? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, that's it. That's all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please leave me some comments, leave me some love, and have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next week. Namaste.